Good day everyone, this is Dude Dude, along with Tommy, hello. So, we are trying out some sets from Simbo. In particular, we have Salomon. Thank you. From Digimon, because I was going to screw up the name again. Um, uh, or in Japanese, this is a uh, Plotmon, I believe. I believe that is what the research said. Um, I, I know Z will correct us if we're wrong. But yeah, we found these and yay stickers. Yeah, yeah. Actually, these might actually be um, closer to um, decals than stickers. Based on this whole um, UV stickers after the paste needs to tear the transparent film. So yeah, that we're going to be trying these out. Yes. And these are... These are uh, officially licensed, I believe. Yes, I do believe these are officially licensed. I um, tried to ensure that. But Going sometimes, animation. as you can see, when you import... You don't get a box. Sometimes. Uh, it's unfortunate. It, it, it's like boxes take up room. and They wanted to condense it down to a flatter package. So, no box, but... Give these a try. We'll know whether or not to go with this brand again in the future based on how these work out, but we'll be doing them. Yeah, let me try it out. Thank you. And as you can see, these have that nice cream color. Matches uh, Digimon perfectly, but <laughs> it's gonna This'll be... This'll be a fun mess to try to put together. Yes. This is where sorting by shape is helpful. helpful. I will say the bags are, um, do not want to tear, which is a good thing, too. Yes, because we shouldn't have lost any pieces in transit in that case. But show the little company mascot there. Hmm. As I just kind of feel the pieces for the first time here. Uh, they, they feel glossy. They have those mega blocks feel. So this may be interesting. So on one hand, yeah, on the other hand, Digimon. Huh, interesting little divot in the middle of some pieces. Ah yes, from the mold making. Yes. You can see the, it's hard to tell, there's a, there. You can see the divot ever so slightly when I tilt it just right for the light. Will that is... affect anything? No. That is a minor just thing from a mold. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Just suddenly had to call. Well, when you have pieces this close together in color, you really want to be careful about making sure you have the right piece. True. So I am trying to be very careful to help dude out by sorting these carefully. Which is appreciated. Now if I'm not mistaken, um, Salomon is the rookie form of Digimon that eventually ends up um, the Tailmon line, which I believe leads to Angewomon. I could be mistaken about this. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Got him on. Yeah. Gatomon or Tailmon there. I'm, yeah. I want to say probably. Yep, Gatomon goes. There we are. Yep. Angewomon. Yep. We're trying to remember off the top of our heads of very much more complex evolution line than Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> and, and there's a lot more branching evolution lines. 
where it's going. Oh, you can go here or here. Yes. Yeah, and I put up the wrong screen here, and I'm. If you're wondering, I was quickly pulling up off wiki. Just to make sure that we got this Kami close was, to right. Kami was right without looking at it, but I pulled it <laughs> up anyway because I'm going, oh, just out of curiosity. Oh, bomb of the bricks. Definitely a lot of them. Um, same color, but that's to be expected. Yeah. With this one. It's a very cream colored, um, very monotone Digimon, which is yeah. not all that uncommon for the rookie forms, I want to say. Yeah. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, this is how it's supposed to go. I'm just going. Yeah, once attached, that is actually a very um, snug fit, so that's good. Hmm, that is good. As I try to continue carefully sorting so that dude can find the pieces he needs. Thank you. So yeah, I can say just based on the initial, it has slightly more of a Mega Bloks glossy feel, but I will say it does have a nice snap. That is good. As I put that close to the mic to Just get the snap. Audio test. Snap. <laughs> and I will say, I at least try to give you the red line indicates parts assembled in this step. And the yellow indicates well, red parts assembled in the stem. <laughs> oh, yay. Also, I can look at multiple, at the next step too, which helps. There it is. I need. Okay, I think I have things sorted for you. I want to see. Fairly yeah. much, yes. Thank you. And again, sometimes, especially with sets like these where you're not exactly sure, Sometimes just looking at the next step is extremely useful to determine whether or not what you're doing is the right step or you need to add an extra piece. Or that you have the placement correct for what they intend or... Yes. And that's it exactly. Try these out. And if we're lucky, we have another company that we can wholeheartedly recommend. If we're yes. less lucky, well, we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Never try them. It's going, oh, what the heck. For the investment of the eight. Oh, that is a tight fit. Very tight tolerances. Yes. Uh, pros for, and cons. For the eight, you were saying? Yeah, for the eight figures that we have in this set, because that is how they were being sold. Which also explains why it didn't come in boxes. That shrunk down the package greatly. Yeah. So we have several more Digimon to go through yes in future videos but in the meantime we get to test this out yes. see how they work and for future ones we do have your uh, Patamon we have Agumon some of the ones that lead to more popular um, Digi evolutions. I've made Bodie McBoke face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to that over there. It kind of looks like a boat <laughs> at the moment as I just follow the directions. 
Dude knows he can crack me up with, uh, with any blanky McBlank face. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, these definitely have a lot of that Mega Blocks feel. Mm. So it's going, okay, they have that slight sheen to them and very smooth. The, they're snapping together very nicely, yes. though, which is not something we always get yeah. with Mega, though. And I think when I had a problem here, it's because I put this back piece on first, which was pushing mm. it just enough. That, that could have been an issue, yeah. I'm not sure. So, let's see here. We need the bottom equivalent of what I just did. Which okay. is right here. No wonder I couldn't find them. They were right next to each other. <laughs> Oops. You know I'm blind. And it doesn't help that they're all... The same color. The same color. Which is, again, why I was trying to be careful sorting them, but apparently I messed up. Whoopsies! Oh, uh, you did fine. Um, it, it was all me there. But, yeah, we're doing um, Palamon, Salomon. Salomon, yes. First, because it's about cream. Yes. I have we're starting with down. the difficult one. Yes. <laughs> say it's interesting the the choice they made for localization when I, I mentioned Plotmon was another name for this one um, that was the uh, Japanese name then this was Salomon when it came over here to the States apparently I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning was on that one and the only thing that comes to mind with the name Salomon is Solomon as in King Solomon and cutting this down the middle which is not a good idea no <laughs> uh, not when it has one of the best evolution forms again very well fitting. So I can definitely say these do not have the cheap feel that you'd find with some of the other no brand no name brand sets. And when we say no name in this regard, the ones that you don't hear about as much in the English yeah. speaking market. Or you'll find the same set under five different names. That too. But these ones did appear to be the uh, correctly licensed ones. Yes, and that is a big thing. Because as I've... It has all the copyright information on it from what we can tell. Yep. And it appears to be who owns the copyright for the building sets. But again, not sold in the U.S. This is an import. So, your mileage may vary. If you have different information to tell us, please. please. Because I do not want to do anything that takes away from the original creator. It's kind of like AI. AI has some nice benefits, but if it's just copying artists without their permission just to recreate things in their style, no, that's a bad thing. And nicely now. Yeah, the interesting thing is with these, since there's no middle piece here, there we go. They will slide. 
as I'll just use this as an example, they will slide. Mm. There. Now you can see. Yeah. Plus if I look at the camera as I try to do the demo, it helps. Now I set this aside. I work on the next. Yes. Peace. Yeah, on top, yeah, it's locking into the peg. But underneath is where it was the issue. Whereas these have those middle pieces, which add some support and prevent the slide. Here are our pieces we need. And I'm like going, ah, oh, these will be quick little 10 minute sets. No. No. Although. Who knows, some of the later ones may go a little quicker than this, just because True. they're not monotone. Yes. This is, uh, quote-unquote, most boring, um, palette-wise, color palette. It's, it's not bad by any means, it's just no. going... Yeah, this has one color. Mostly. With a and little gold. bit of highlight. Yeah. From the gold. There we go. Now we get, I'm on camera. It's when we get these in place in a minute. <clears throat> That's going to get interesting. Yeah. Thankfully, we have tweezers. Yes, and I will be needing them in just a moment. Because I need to apply one and two. So I will do that slightly off screen here. If I could have the tweezers, please. As I pass them to you on screen. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see here. Are you a sticker sticker or are you you're gonna rip? Oh. You're You're definitely a decal. You are a strong sticker. And you took your cheek with you. How dare you? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Dude is trying to um, separate the eye from the cheek. cheek that was right next to it. Yeah. Carefully put that back. Without causing damages. As I narrate for a moment as this is going on well, off screen. Because these have very tight tolerances. Technically, I don't have that in the right spot, but mm. it's going to be close enough. Yes. Can't tell. There's and a we, slow, little bit overhang there. And yeah. I know we keep bringing up that, that phrase, and just uh, as a quick explanation, basically how well it fits, how tightly it fits together. Yeah. Uh, so, second eye came off nicely off the sheet. If you have something that's loose, that's going to slide around a lot more. Something that's tight, it's going to fit a lot better. Although if it gets too tight, then there's going to be an issue trying to get it placed. Yeah. And again, I'm just ever so slightly off. I mean, you, when looking at it, you'd never know. But if you're really close up, you go, oh, it's overhanging ever so slightly. But that will be hidden short light. Yes. <sighs> anyway. And I will be completely honest, looking at it through the camera view, it looks fine to me. Yeah. Now, we combine. Come on. Combine. Again, high tolerances. Mm -hmm. Flip it around. Another point for those who don't didn't need the explanation of what tight tolerances meant. Rate my rate <laughs> rate my definition. 
<laughs> One to ten. <laughs> ah, I see. I'll put you over here. And that actually helps hide my sins. starting to come together if yes. you can see. The, I will say the um sticker slash decal. Gorgeous. Yes. Pain in the butt. Yeah, that's stickers and all for you. And just as a funny commentary here going, it looks like it's just going ah <laughs> simple part. Yeah. Definitely starting to see a shape now. Yes, it's definitely starting to come together now. You here. Very tight. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart on me. Does make it a little more challenging at times, but. Okay. Now it gets interesting again. Because it's sticker time. In particular, I get to put on cheeks. Ah. Screen applying. Applying the rouge, so to speak. Yes. Oh. Oh dear, what happened? There we go. Oh, I see now. Uh oh. Pull up the edge of that sticker carefully. Oh. So yes, there is a transparent film over top, which throws off placement. No wonder I'm going crazy. Because I read it and then I ignored it. Oh. This is the one that started to rip. Mm. That's why I had to be a little careful. So, there's one rouge. Yes. Now that that's down, it's good I had these quote unquote sharp tweezers get under. Hey, now it's printed, quote unquote. <clears throat> <laughs> it looks nice. Yes. It definitely looks nice. Pain in the butt. Well, again, since dude's off screen doing application. Side note on uh, Rouge here. That's R O U G E. Not R O G U E, which is Rogue, which is an X Men character. Yeah. <laughs> Ta da! Or a type that you might run across in DD. <laughs> okay. Now the stickers do make a little more sense. They're still. Whew. But 
We have the cheeks in place. So yes, definitely a slight decal-esque to yeah. it. This is both good and bad. On the one side, the fact I hate stickers immensely means I hate these immensely. <laughs> <laughs> the the application process especially oh yes but they wind up looking good oh they definitely look good may also be difficult to recommend for a child unless uh, unless with uh, adult assistance yes so arm got oh no wonder it wasn't fitting nicely on the brick yeah because it had that film over top Yep. So I do quote unquote blast. As I carefully just go not clicking things into place, just Which also means these have no um forgiveness. That's exactly why I was thinking this is likely not the best choice for a young builder. But that is the last of the stickers. Hooray! I think I got a little slightly cool. I think that is actually how it was supposed to be, but anyway. And now... Worst case, it just looks like it's smirking a little bit. True. Now we have a face. Yes. Yes. These are already much more complex of a build than I was anticipating. Anyway, here's some tweezers. Here's a serial number. <laughs> <laughs> we can put a serial number on a spotlighter if we wanted. <laughs> um. And in case we didn't say before, this is set number 609315. Thank you. I think I may have missed that. <sighs> Breathe. Yeah, now now that you can you can relax a little bit. Yes. Cause yeah, that That said from a decal perspective, those are an easy decal, but from a sticker perspective, they're evil. <laughs> From the perspective of someone who hates applying stickers. Yeah. I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, we can say they're decent quality. Oh, yes. Stickers and they wind up looking good, as we just saw. Just be very patient. <laughs> yes. Take your time. It's not a race. Breathe. <laughs> that, that was that was less a that was less a directive for dude. I know. That was <laughs> Be, uh, smart, uh, being a smart Alec. Yep. You go use new return there. I could have, but slight stutter kicked in. <laughs> I just went. No, nope, forget keep it. it. Clean. But yeah, this is definitely uh, twelve to teen. Yeah, I, would I was. Say. That that seems a uh, an appropriate. No, obviously for... every child's different. That's just a loose guideline. That's just again rough estimate based on how we're feeling this out. Yeah. It's not because the subject ma material is anything off, it's just yeah. going because the stickers were more challenging, because things are a little more annoying in general, I would say, just based on the uh, the same color over and over and over again you might have this might be a hard sell to someone under 10 yeah 
this particular side. Some of the other, some of the others may wind up fine. But then again, this might be one of their preferred. So. No, it doesn't look like much at the second. of a connection there, but that's very minor. Yes. Okay. Now then. This is a simple design. Now let's do this the same way. I break that off. Yeah. Again, very tight. Yes. Again, not a bad thing, but it does... It's a slightly different mindset than what I'm used to. So it's not quite as forgiving. And I can just spin, yeah. however, because that's not the important thing there. Yes. That is. Yes. So suddenly we're most of the way there. Yes. Now we get to build the same thing four times. It's legs. Yes. Yay, it's leg day. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to do your squats. Yeah. Could you do me a minor favor? Hmm? Take these four uh -huh. and put four of these. So one's at the bottom. So this would be the base of the foot. So, wow. Okay. So, there we go. I'm helping. Yay. <laughs> hey. It's an important step. There we go. We have feet. Yes. If I applied that correctly. I'm pre Yeah, you did. <gasps> okay. It's <laughs> going. I don't know. I can't. S oh, yeah. Look at the camera. Or look at the monitor. Move these around. the base of the feet. I'll ask if you put the next of the curved pieces on. Ah, okay. If I'm, there we go. This also lets you get a feel for how tight some of this uh -huh. is. Very pudgy legs. Yes. On the upside, they'll be they quite will solid hold. for. I was going to say they'll be very sturdy. Yes, they will definitely hold this up. Yes. Because even with the head being on the more hollow side, it's still a little would some be somewhat um, top heavy. It has a decent amount of weight already. Yes, that's a nice solid yes. thing. And now we build the last items. Which should be the ear segment. Yes. Let's see. Ears. Quite long. And floppy. Mm -hmm. But cute. Yes. Also, I think I missed a minor step. Uh oh. Looking at it. Uh huh. Yes, I did miss a very minor step. Uh huh. But we'll fix that before I put the ears on. Okay. Ah, it's moving out the sides of the there head. There we, there we go. Much better. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Salomon. Yes. I I like how expressive the ears can be. Yes. It is a very cute build. The 
most delicate portion is now actually held back by the um, neck, which is right here. So yeah, very nice set. Yes. And again, got this through a um, random importer. Again, be careful when doing that though. Because, yeah, that can be the biggest challenge of all is finding a trustworthy um, site to go with. Yes. And one that will send you the actually licensed product yes. instead of one yes. of the many potential knockoffs. Yes. Or just send you the product at all. Yes. Uh, that said, PayPal is your friend. Because if you don't receive something, you can file a dispute directly with PayPal. And yes. Sadly, and I recently have had to. And PayPal's process, very nice. It's going, hey, have you contacted the seller first? If so, provide us um, a screenshot of that communication. Provide us a screenshot showing anything to prove you haven't received or damage or fake product or whatever, and it'll go from there. So. And PayPal will fight that for you. Oh, yes. Instead of having to argue with the person who may not be so scrupulous about their uh, business. Yes. So, yes, I, I will say it's a little challenging to build these, but the result... I We can't argue with the result here. That no. is absolutely adorable. So, yes. So, so far, I can go, yeah, this is definitely for an older audience, uh, especially for um, people of my generation. We millennials would will love these. Yes. So, anyway, thank you for joining us today, and we hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.